टुडे वील टॉक अबाउट कंट्रोल एलिमेंट्स इन सिग्मा सो कंट्रोल एलिमेंट्स एंड डेटा एलिमेंट्स आर वर्क हैंड इन हैंड टू गेट योर डेटा इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो बेसिकली डेटा एलिमेंट डिस्प्ले योर डेटा वेयर इज कंट्रोल एलिमेंट्स आर बिल्ड टू यूज to manipulate the displayed data so basically they are the filters that we apply on a visualization or on a page so let's begin we'll we'll first go to our workbook so there are uh, multiple type of page filters like date range include values exclude values so let's talk about the date range filter so we have this bar chart visualization and we have sessions by state so we want to apply a date range filter on this so on the left hand side this add element option then you can scroll down to these control elements so here is the date filter click on this date filter now you can see that the control elements can be of any type it can be of date range include value exclude value or you want to like top 5 top 10 top n values or you want to drill down to any level of uh, atomicity so uh, now you can give a name to this filter so i can give a name like date range and now the second thing is on this target tab you have to select the target the visualization or the data set uh, in which you want to apply this filter you want to see the effect of this filter so i will add target i will add the data the data table from which i have created this child element bar chart so if the filter is applied on the data it will automatically be applied on the child element also so i'll set the target of this filter to be the data and done now i can uh, when you see this hand option on this particular visual you are able to drag it to anywhere in your page canvas so uh, just drag it here on the top of this now select a date range now you can select a date range and you can see the effect of that on this particular visualization so suppose i am selecting from 15 august to uh 18th august the date range and you can see the change here now you can select one particular date for that you have to select like for in both these you have to select the same date and the change will be here so this is the date range filter now we'll talk about the include value type filter so i just duplicate this date filter and added this so you can see the control element so i'll select the control element to be the include value type and value source will be the table from where i want to select the column whose filter i want so i will select this data and then for the source column i want a filter for channel so i will select channel on the source column now the target will be the data now you can see the effect of this i'll just select this organic search here and the value has changed here so this is how we apply a include value type filter so this is how filters work in sigma that's all for this video thank you